Yo, 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 Hi, I'm Vinapal and I'm back with episode number 5 from the Rare series. This is about a paradox that I've come up with. Consider a rod on which I have a force F acting at the center, normal to the rod. And we have two balancing forces, F by 2 and F by 2 at the ends, also perpendicular to the rod. So we have the acceleration of the rod is 0. And the angular acceleration is also zero. You can see that the forces and the torques are both balanced. Now consider a section of the rod. Let's say I'm going to consider the blue section. And let me try and draw the FPD of the blue section. So I know at the top end that the force of F by 2 is acting to the left. My question is, what is the force acting by the rest of the rod on this blue section? If I were to have the force by the rest of the rod on this blue section as f by 2 to the right, then you will have acceleration 0, but you will have a non zero angular acceleration, which is not possible because the entire rod has zero angular acceleration. On the other hand, if I draw the FBD with f by 2 acting on the left at the top end, but for zero angular acceleration, I would need a force of f by 2 to be acting by the rest of the rod on this blue section also to the left. So this will imply angular acceleration zero, but then this section of the rod will have non-zero acceleration. So obviously something is going wrong. So my question is, which one of this is the correct solution or perhaps neither of this is the correct picture and how would we resolve this paradox? Think about it. I'll upload the solution soon. That's it for today. See you guys. Good night.